Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. This is the first of many videos of Avalon the Game, also known as Avalon the Droids. We are going to go ahead and do a basic walkthrough, basic keys, basic setup, all the basic stuff uh, that you need to know when first launch, jumping into Avalon, the alpha version. Please keep in mind this is day one of alpha and a lot could change between now and say day 30 of alpha. So if you're jumping back in here uh, for the first time in day 30 or later in alpha, maybe even beta, um, there's a good chance that the same items may not be the same as, as far as uh, the setup. The keys should be the same, um, but I wanted to go through at least the, the setup process. I'm excited. This is day one of Alpha. Let's go ahead and talk about how to set up and get ready to get in there and a few of the keys and, and key basic items uh, to help you function and be able to move around within Alpha. All right, let's start off. When you first get access, you download the installer, you go ahead and do the update, you install it, you jump in. This is really the first screen that you're going to see. And it's going to ask you, uh, before you even see characters here, this may be blank. It was blank for me the first time until I set up my wallet. So in order to set up your wallet, you need to go ahead and make sure you click on my wallet. Make sure that your wallet is synced up here. And even before this stage, and I, I did forget a step, even before you get to this point, Make sure if you're playing Alpha and it's a brand new game, have a clean, fresh wallet. That basically means the only thing in your wallet is your gold pass. Uh, this should be a brand new wallet. That's what they're telling us when we first log in there. Brand new wallet, only thing in there, gold pass, nothing else, just for security, just so you can make sure everything's good for your site. It's, it's standard practice when trying something new. All right. Make sure that new wallet is shown down here. Uh, and I apologize again, this is the wax version. I am focused on wax and wax only for my videos. So if that's in there uh, and you're still not seeing the, the characters when you go over to play, something you should go down here is down here in the bottom right. You click on wax, make sure wax is selected and click on confirm. After you click on uh, confirm, you're going to go ahead into inventory to just make sure that your pass is there. Make sure that it's there. Uh, it should be in the all section. You can go ahead and click through. You see I have nothing else in my wallet here other than my pass. The last thing you need to do before you select your character is go ahead and click on this. You see how it says selected up here. It must be selected for you to be able to access. So make sure it shows selected. Come back to the game menu and you'll go ahead and you'll see the different characters. I'm going to do a whole other video on each of the characters and, and kind of what they bring to the table. Uh, that video will come here in a few days, uh, but for today's purposes, we'll go ahead and show you just the basics by using uh, this guy. Um, he's basically the, he's almost like the Templar. The Templar is not available yet, so we'll go ahead and just show you with him because he's the one that I've been using the most just to get, just to test things out. Um, go ahead and click on join. It's going to take a few seconds. You'll see it's searching for a server. All right, we are now into the game, and there we go. You have access. They talked about an Xbox controller to be able to function uh, down the road. I have not tested that. I, I don't think it's fully functional yet. Um, so we are going to go ahead and just use the keyboard and the mouse. You, you can go ahead and scroll around with the mouse, and that will point you in different directions. Uh, and then you can go ahead and once you'll see for my character is that I don't have any weapons out now. To get your weapons out, you go ahead and hit Z and it takes your weapons out. And you'll see I have a sword and a shield. And now I have the option to go ahead and switch to the two-handed sword. I can do that just by clicking, clicking tab and that'll switch my weapons. And you can switch back and forth. And then you can go ahead and put your weapons back in your place so your hands are free by hitting Z again. Those are some of the basic steps as far as getting your weapons out, putting your weapons back in, and switching them back and forth. You'll see some characters actually have a bow and a, and a melee weapon, so that's how you easily switch between the two. Thing with the, the bows, you have to remember that the arrows are limited, so it's not like an unlimited, you can shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, you have a limited or finite supply of arrows that you have to keep refreshing. So let's go ahead and talk about a few of the other keys that you're going to need to know. Um, first of all, if you want to go ahead and sprint, uh, you hold down shift and you'll see I'm going faster with the sprint. It does take my stamina away, uh, but that's normal with most of the games. Um, and if I uncheck or on click shift, I'll go ahead and just walk normally. 
If you want to see your inventory, go ahead and hit I. It's going to bring up your inventory. You'll see that I've, I've been playing around just a little bit, collecting certain materials. Uh, like I said, the arrows, the arrow packs, different pelts. And if you have different weapons in here, all you have to do is go ahead and click on them and drag them over or drag them or just to get them out. You just click on them, get them back in, you drag them over. And then to get rid of the screen, you go ahead and click I again. You'll see over on the bottom right, there is a chat menu. If that's annoying, you can go ahead and click on C. You can go ahead and do that to get rid of the chat. Click Every time you click C, it'll turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. All right, so let's go ahead and run over to town. Um, I'm going to highlight one of my houses. Actually, before we get there, you see that if you see something sparkly like this, that means there's something that you can go ahead and pick up. You run over to it, hit E, and it gives you experience and the item. So it's really easy to see different items throughout uh, the land. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run over to my farm and I'll, sh I'll also do another video on the different types of houses that are available. This one is my farm. You see warrior line up here uh, and then you'll see there are berries over here I can go ahead and pick. Just click E and then if you want to go indoors or open doors and exit doors you click on E. It opens the door and you'll see inside of my house there are a number of sparkly items that I can collect. Every single house gives you the ability to collect resources the bigger the house, the more resources that you can collect. I have a bunch of mushrooms, I have wood, I have iron, uh, and I have uh, wheat outside or barley outside. And just a quick walk through it. And in your houses, you have a chest. My chest is not set up yet. Um, so my chest is right here. I ran right past it. Uh, once you have a chest, you'll be able to use that for storage. And once you leave, go ahead and close by clicking E. And then we can run around and you'll see my barley out here is sparkling. You just run over to it. I'm sorry, grain, I keep calling it barley. Uh, grain, and that is used in the mill, uh, which we'll get to here in a minute. All right, a couple other things I wanted to show you in town. There's a forge. Uh, and to jump, you just hit the space bar, which is, is pretty standard. To move your character, you use W to move forward, S to move back. D side to side and A on the other side. And if you go to the forge and interact with people, again, E is going to be a very standard button. You'll see the different things that you can click on and, and go ahead and craft. All right. In order to craft, make sure you just highlight over. And if you click on it and you have all the items that are needed, you'll go ahead and be able to craft it. And then once you craft, You'll see that it shows that it is crafted, and then you go ahead and you exit out of here by clicking on this little X. You can also repair by clicking on this guy here. Right now, I don't have anything to repair, but if you did, it would show uh, what items need repaired and, and how much it costs to repair them. So I'm going to click on the X. I'm going to go to my inventory, and you'll see that I went ahead and did an uh, apprentice staff. I'm not exactly sure why I did that. Um, I wanted to do the, the bow. Uh, but I didn't have the elk hide to go ahead and do that. Um, so I just did anything just to show you that you can go ahead and craft some items. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to run out to the mill and show you how to uh, take care of the food. All right, and if I remember correctly, it's right over here. Right now, we just so you're aware, right now we are in the SD guild. This is my guild uh, village. Uh, it's also owned. You'll see the, the mill here owned by the SD Guild. Go ahead and click on E, uh, open the door. And if I can move in there, I'm stuck, there we go. And then click on uh, E, go ahead and craft. You can craft a number of different types of breads. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and craft a honey bread, I think. I think I have enough resources for the honey bread. It's gonna cost me 10 Avalon, or I'll, a. AVL, we'll just call it, and then five grain and five honey. And you'll see over on the left, I just, it showed you what I took out and what I put in. And if I go to my inventory, you'll see I have honey bread now. And it recovers up to 60% of your max health. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how to use the mill. And that the basically the cost of that, uh, the, the 10 AVL that I spent, uh, goes ahead and goes to the guild. So if I click on here again, 
Um, you'll see at the top uh, right under mill, it says revenue 300 AVL. That's because I, I just went ahead and added 10 to that. But during the testing, they also added a whole bunch of other stuff to that. So these are the basics. Um, let me go ahead and show you fighting fighting something. Um, in order to fight, you go ahead and get your weapons out by hitting Z. Use right click to go ahead and swing the sword. Uh, you can go ahead and defend with, I'm sorry, left click is the attack. Right click is defend. Um, and you'll see at the bottom, there's a number of different bars there. Um, as far as different icons, for example, two, I have a self heal. Since I'm the Templar, if I click on two, it's going to give me a self heal. Uh, and there's a number of other things that I can go ahead and do there. But I have one thing I almost forgot before you run out there and you start fighting things, make sure you go to the fountain. Uh, the fountain is over here. It's, sorry, I ran past it. Uh, it's going to give you a buff if you go to the fountain and you, and you click on E. So we're back over here to the forge. My other house, my large house is there. And then you go ahead, you have the fountain here. You'll see right now my health is at the red bar on the bottom left is at 1030. If I hit E, I'm going to get a big boost to 1545. That'll come in health, helpful uh, when you're battling out here. So I'm going to run back over here. You'll see the graphics in here are beautiful. This is again the SD village uh, for the for the SD guild. Uh, we're going to run over and we're going to fight a few things just to show you how that all works. Um, each character is a little different. Like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on... Oh, we've got spiders here. And then you just attack. And then the more I attack, the actual more bonuses I get. If you see on the bottom, you see the purple bar on the left. Uh, that That's power. And that allows me to do different items or different other tasks that are out here. We're going to go attack some wolves. And what is some of these I'm still learning. And the thing with the wolves is they will run away from you, but then they'll run right back to you and attack you. And you have to make sure that you're close enough to actually attack these, especially with the melee weapon. You see I got a pelt here. You see how it's sparkling. But I'm going to go ahead and kill this last one. There we go. We picked up the pelt. That's how you attack. Uh, you see my health went down, so I'm going to go ahead and click on 2 for this guy. And he allows me to get my health back up. I'm going to go ahead and click on two again, and now I'm going to be close to full health. That's the nice thing about uh, the Templar. It has the self-healing, plus it has the powerful weapon and shield. I'm going to go ahead and switch to this weapon, uh, and let's go kill some more wolves, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. It just gives you kind of an idea of what, uh, what this game is all about, and just keep an eye out for sparkly things as you're running around. Uh, to pick those up and collect those and if you have a house you can go ahead and store those. Uh, let's see if there's any other items out here. Oh, there's some more wolves down here. We'll go ahead and attack with a two-handed weapon. A little slower, a lot more powerful though. Kind of like the two-handed weapon. There you go. And I got another pelt. And I'll heal up with two. And each character is going to have its own spells and bonuses and power attacks. Um, these are mine. I got that guy who, number three, which kind of blasts people away. Should have saved that guy. And then I got a, a taunt. All right, so we're just going to fight a few more wolves. See them running away, running back. Oh, I like the blood. All right, and just killed all those. All right, let me run back to the town and we'll go ahead and log out. Every time you kill monsters, you get AVL. Um, every time you pick up some items, you also get XP and you can go ahead and level up. And as you get level up, you get stronger and you get higher health and all that fun stuff. Uh, one more thing to note, when you start out the game, this guy right here is going to be a main quest person. So you go over here, you click E, he's going to give you the initial quest, which is going to be to get a, a white pelt. And we'll go through the quest uh, line in a, another video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, this was supposed to be a very basic, very entry level 
type of video that gives you some at least idea of the different keys that you can press and the, how, the different functionality of the game. Uh, just basically get you started. And remember, this is alpha day one, so a lot of things will change between now end of alpha and between now and uh, now and um, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted because I wanted to show you one more thing. Now and beta, it'll definitely be a lot different. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over and just show you basic flying. I think they still have the dragons here. They will be going away uh, soon. There we go. There's one of the dragons. So we'll go ahead. You have the dragons. Get, get on them. You just click on E. And then you fly on up. You hit the space bar to fly up. Uh, you can go ahead and hit the, the left. You have to keep pressing it. Um, if you stop pressing it, it will st stop and start going down. Um, and then you press the left trigger if you want to shoot ice balls. Uh, which you can't see with this guy right now. There we go. Now we can see him. And to go down, um, you, just, you don't click the space bar and then you get off in the ground. And I'll show you the fire breathing, breathing dragon. Uh, these will all be adjusted. They'll all be adjusted uh, as we get through alpha into beta and all this. This is the fire dragon. There you go. And the mechanics are a little off on this one. Again, alpha, you're going to get some. Oh, and when you're on the ground, you can hit left click and it'll fight too. These do die, so be careful if you have them and you're attacking different things. Uh, if you get hit and they get hurt, uh, they'll die. So be ready for that. All right. I hope this was helpful. We're going to go ahead and land here. And I hope you all have a great day. Let me know in the, down below if you have any any requests, any items that you want me to, to show you. I'm going to show you a video on the, the different characters that are available in Alpha. I'm going to show you the quest line. I'm going to show you raids. Uh, but let me know if there's anything else that you want me to go ahead and show in videos. All right. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, everyone.